Okay, let me ask you a question. What would happen to your business if you had a hundred warm leads coming in next week? The thing is that doesn't matter how good your business is, and I have learned this over the 10 years I've been in business, doesn't matter how good your business is, if you do not have a steady flow of warm leads coming into your business, you are not going to be able to sell your products and services. The pipeline will dry up and you'll be sitting thinking, where are my next clients coming from? If you have, however, consistent, right fit leads coming in regularly, then all you've got to do is speak to those leads. So today I want to show you a tool called Score App, which is being used by thousands of businesses and generating hundreds of thousands of leads for those businesses. Okay, so why is Score App working so well? The thing is that you've got people who are interested in your products and services. What we want is to get your clients, your future clients from where they are now to where they want to be. So getting a transformation from them. But how do they know that you're the right fit? And what do you, how do you get the right leads coming into you rather than people just going onto your website, clicking on booking a link, booking a call with you, and you end up wasting time speaking to people who are not the right fit for you or your services. This is where Score App is going to be a game changer for you. What does it actually mean, Score App? <laughs> score App is a scorecard. So people will take a quiz or an assessment and they get a score. And when they get the right score that matches the need for your services, that's when you have coming together of someone who wants what you have to sell and you have the right product or service for them and it is a match. It's gonna bring you more business. So I am going to show you now exactly how Score App works. All right, so here we are inside my Score App account. So we go to manage.scoreapp.com and there are templates that you can use here on the left hand side, which are, for example, the property investment assessment, the entrepreneur's skill test, all of these topics down the left hand side that you can pick from. You're not even starting from scratch, which is excellent. I love that. So if we look, scroll down here and let's pick one that could be a good fit for you. So let's see, why don't we go to sales and marketing and we'll say, all right, do you have a strong brand? So we'll click on this and it says, use this template. It's going to give you 10 questions and one category. And the good thing is that you can look down here and see the template highlights, but when you use a template, um, it literally creates the 10 cards for you. And then all you need to do is go in and change the colors and settings. So hi Louise, let's get this set up. Scroll down and it says, update your landing page. And you literally go through it step by step. So go to landing pages. Here is the landing page and you just click on it like this. So on the left hand side, change the image, scroll down and change all the different sections. If you want to change your image, go over here, click on the little button and select new, so you upload your own image in here. Then once you're finished and you're happy with the text on the screen, so it reads what you want it to say, you click on preview and it will show you what this will look. And I love this, it says across the top, this scorecard is in draft mode, only you can see this. So it's telling you it's not live, which is also really handy. Back to the score app page and how you get around it. This is the home page. You can go over here, it says back to sections. You've got all your different sections in here. So this is the sections on this landing page. Okay, content for categories down here. So categories one, two, three, let's click on the category. And if I want to change the image on here, so you can change all the different sections of it as you go back to sections. It says, do you want to change? Any unsaved changes will be lost if you leave this page. Do you want to leave this page? And I'm going to say yes. We're just doing this for, so I can show you a little walk around. So these are the different pages. You've got landing pages here, your main landing page. You've got your questions. So these are all different pages. As someone's going through this quiz, these are your different quizzes. And I do suggest, I don't want you to just use the questions that are in the template because then everybody's would look the same. You do want to have a think about what you want people to know about. Um, you do want to have a think about how do you get, remember I said using scorecard app is about 
getting warm leads. So you want these questions to be related to your target audience and, and their issues. On the left hand side under theme, we've got the settings that so the core settings in here. You change the logo, secondary logo on the icon in the colors. We could say, okay, well, we, let's change our primary color. Let's change our primary color to purple and automatically we'll change that across the whole scorecard. So I recommend choose a template. And first thing I would do, I think is go into the theme settings, change your logos, your colors and your typography. And then when you're going through, so rather than changing slide by slide, it changes the whole thing. And if we do preview, it'll show us what it looks like. Do you have a strong brand? And let's say, take the quiz. Okay, so it's gonna ask me to put my name and email in. Take the quiz. Remember, this is a draft mode. And we click through. And this is how easy it is for your leads to go through your quiz. So make it as simple as possible. And what we want is for people to be, their interest is peaked enough that they want to do this quiz. And da, 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 da. click, 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 click. Yes, I'm just going to go through the questions. When your target audience member has finished the quiz and it says, let's check out your branding score. My overall brand score is 77. <laughs> This can all be edited as well. So you personalize all this content in your quiz. And then it says, so the, this, this one is gonna take us through to people to join your spot on our next live training event, register now. And that will put people through to webinar training. I think I'm going to use this template myself actually, because it's really good. And you just go back to the start here and you see scorecard home on the left. And there's our scorecard. We're on our settings, setup guide, not complete because we're just going through. It's got a community. It's got courses to help you. It's got help center and it's got a friendly support team that you can contact as well. So have you used scorecard yet? Have you tested it out? What questions do you have? Um, let me know below and we'll create more content to help you with this. But I really want you to have a look at this software because it's it's just going to bring in the lead that you want in your business. You'll see my own scorecard here, um, LinkedIn Visibility Scorecard. This is one I was playing with, um, a draft one here. And if we click on this, you will see that I have got so far, here are my leads down here. View all the leads, 50, there are 50 results on that page. What you can do is connect it through to your email provider as well. So mine is connected to ConvertKit. But there's all these other ones down here as well. You can connect it through. So what happens is when someone does my quiz and they fill it all out, they automatically are added to my email list following GDPR guidelines. So you are building your email list again, bringing in those warm leads into your business, which are so important for us when we are building our businesses online. As I said, any questions, please do ask below and go and check out Scorecard and see what you think of it.